G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Uh, today I have an example from Delphi XC2 Foundations by uh, Chris Rolston. Uh, this is an excellent book by the way, uh, you should get a copy. Um, I'm about halfway through it and the example I've got is very similar to the one on page 29 and basically it's on uh, sorting dynamic arrays. So um, let's go straight into it now. So let's start off with a brand new VCL forms application and add a button and a list box, which both of which we will be using very shortly. But first, um, uh, we're going to be sorting some stuff, so um, we want something to sort. So let's declare a uh, t, t person as a class. And first name and last time, last name string. I'd be very lazy and make them uh, public fields, but um, that's it's naughty of me. But uh, it'll be fine um, for this sort of simplified um, example. And we need a constructor. Um, We can pass in the first name and the last name, and I'm just going to um, override the toString method or function. Um, so self dot first name is assigned first name self dot last name is assigned last name. So quite basic and we just want to um, uh, something very basic like that. So that's our uh, T person class written. Um, we can now declare a um, dynamic array called people. I'm just going to make it a T array of T T person. Um, and T array is just uh, synonymous with array of T. So array of array of person, array of T person. So let's uh, put some data in there. Um, first off, we'll start by setting its length uh, to five elements. Dynamic arrays are start start at zero. Um, Zane Smith, and we have a number of Smiths. So when we sort these, we'll sort by uh, last name and then first name. Bob and George, and we throw it myself in there. Shelton Cooper in as well. So we've now got some data and we'll just verify that's all worked by um, printing that out in the list box which is what we we're going to do eventually um, but we'll print it out sorted. So let's do a foreign um, person in people Uh, person dot two string. And it's declared it as a T object, but um, there's a two string on um, T object. So um, our inherited version uh, or overridden uh, version will get called. And we can run that. And indeed, we get uh, things added to our list. So let's. Um, now look at how we can sort. Now there is a um, a sorting routine, or series of sorting routines in um, 
generic start collections. I don't know why it doesn't auto complete there, but uh, anyhow. Now I have to get the uh, syntax right, so um, tra dot sort, and we need to specify t person is uh, what we're sorting, and that takes um, uh, potentially a number of parameters. But I'm just going to throw people in there for now, uh, and we run that, and uh, it's because we haven't specified a uh, method of sorting and we're sorting objects um, it is basically just sorting them by their um, pointers um, so it's it, it's more or less random um, sort of depends on the order they were created and where they were created and that kind of thing the memory fragmentation and uh, who knows what else um, but there is an overloaded method on sort which takes a comparer and I'll just uh, specify comp and a comparer is declared in generics dot uh, defaults and it's a I comparer of T person and throw a semicolon on the end there and we need to um, create that and it gets assigned t t comparer of t person dot construct and construct takes a uh, single parameter which is a um, function that returns an integer well so so that sort of we, we can declare an anonymous method. So we've got our sort of left and right uh, t person that we're wanting to sort, um, and returns an integer. And I must remember that it requires this to be const, otherwise it gives some it gives a weird error error message, which is hard to decipher. In fact, I can leave that off, and we get. Uh, incompatible types, um, but this should now control F9. Pretty missing semicolon. Try that. Okay, it compiles, um, but we need a return value uh, of this interesting function. So we're going to sort by surname and then first name. Uh, you probably probably could have guessed that. And we'll call compare string um, l dot last name a dot last name if result equals zero then we'll compare uh, l dot first name and l dot sorry a dot first name so fairly uh, straightforward okay so we are oh let's just run it and see if I've, I've typed everything correctly and we don't get a, a stack overflow or some some such thing and it's indeed worked uh, and it's sorted alphabetically by uh, surname and then by first name um, that was it's quite a bit of code it's quite convoluted but it is much shorter than having to write your own uh, sorting routine and we can have a look um, I, don't think I can go straight to there no I can go to TRA and there's the sort routine and it's calling uh, quick sort with our comparer uh, and we're doing our, our comparisons and um, it um, it's quick sorts it, which is quite nice. Um, I would not have to write, have to want to have to write my own quick sort routine. Um, I've, I've done um, done it in the past, but uh, it, it was it's it's quite an easy algorithm to describe, but quite easy to um, 
make a mistake in East Mid Ages debugging. Um, but that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to say. This this example, as I said, is um, out of Delphi XE2 Foundations, or this is kind of a simple, simplified version of it. Um, I'm about halfway through reading it, and um, I thought I'd just share this this uh, sort of example because it's quite cool. I'm sort of trying to learn uh, generics properly um, at the moment. Well, I'm up to that section in the book, so. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv.